Well, guys, the rumors are true. A single-player, third-person action-adventure Blade game is in development, but not from the studio that was rumored. Okay, we place in bets on what we get first. This video game, which they said they need time to cook, or the Blade film. What are we getting first, boys? Whatever the case is, it's going to be a good time to be a Blade fan in the next couple of years, as it was confirmed that a Blade game is in development from Arcane Leon. If you've never heard of Arcane or Arcane Leon specifically, they make great games that are always um, not the best sellers. So let's hope that this is one of them that can break through it with mainstream because it is a Marvel character, it is Blade, and also it's what people want, third person action adventure. Now, we don't have much in the reveal, but we do know it's set in France. We're obviously the Daywalker, and as the trailer goes on, we kind of get a vibe that's very interesting, I would say. Very much Blade is about to go dish out some justice in this corner of France, and they did confirm it is set exclusively in France by the sound of it. And if you look around right here, you're going to see all sorts of uh, religious iconography, different styles of writing and everything obviously it's set during the day here he is the day walker so um you know he can go out in the daylight all the strengths of vampires none of their weaknesses yeah that's great he's just got the human weakness of um he can unfortunately die from old age but hey they're probably uh not gonna incorporate that into this just yet whatever the case is i don't care i'm hyped it's blade one of my all-time favorites if this is the art style they're going with, I'm down for it because it looks unique, it looks stylized, it looks like something different. So, I'm in. I can't wait. <laughs>